Good morning, guys. This is Miss Shannon here for story time with you. I know we're having to be home for a few weeks, but I'd like to be able to spend some time with with you guys and uh, at least have story time with you. So I'm sitting outside in my swing, listening to the birds chirp and uh, cars go by, enjoying the warm uh, air and actually being in a pair of shorts today. Um, the story we're going to share today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar and the author is Eric Carl. He writes the words, right? And the illustrator is also Eric Carl, who draws the pictures. Now this is the front cover, and this is the back cover. This is the spine, that's right. And the book has a spine because it holds the pages together. You have a spine that's down your back, and if we didn't have spines, we'd be wiggly jellyfish that's right so our spine is important just like the spine of the book now when we open up the book the page that we see first is the title page that's right it tells us the title of the book the very hungry caterpillar by eric carl now let's see what adventure can we go on today? In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Do you see that? The little egg is laying on the leaf. And what is this? It's the moon. That's right. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a very tiny and very hungry see that caterpillar see the big sun let's see what this caterpillar does he started to look for Food. On Monday, he ate through one, what is that? An apple. But he was still hungry. Let's see. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry hungry on Wednesday see Monday Tuesday Wednesday that's three he ate through three plums but he was still hungry on Thursday he ate through one two three four four strawberries but he was still hungry i bet while you guys are home you're probably gonna eat a lot and your parents are gonna say you guys are always hungry on friday he ate through one two three four five five oranges but he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. It's Saturday. That's the day when you get everything to eat. He ate through a piece of cake, an ice cream cone, a dill pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a bad stomach ache. You see that caterpillar down there? He looks like he's probably full by now. 
The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through a nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. His tummy ache was gone. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. Look how big he got. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a, you guys remember what this word is? A cocoon. Around himself, he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Just like we're having to do from school. We're having to stay away from school for two weeks. Then he nibbled a little hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. You know, this book reminds me a lot of you guys because when you came to me, you were just little caterpillars. And I give you all these things to learn, writing your name and math and numbers and letters and things to put together and we do science experiments and then you become so big and so smart and then by the time you leave me and you go to kindergarten you're butterflies and you can fly and you can do anything you want to do because you're so smart i hope you enjoyed this book talk about it with your mom and dad your brothers and sisters enjoy the adventure okay and tomorrow another story time. Hope you guys are safe. Have a good night.